They race through grass. Come on, Katano! Over obstacles. Here you go, Ned. And even climb stairs. This is the world of cyclocross racing. <laughs> There's a pretty easy way to describe it. Organized suffering. Manuel Tenorio is the owner of Chicago's Johnny Sprockets Bike Shop. He's also the manager of its cyclocross team, which practices bright and early on Tuesday mornings. Uh, it's a form of racing, bike racing, that takes place on uh, usually on, on a close course uh, on park ground. And you're riding on grass, you're riding on dirt, you're riding on sand, uh, and you're doing loops anywhere from uh, 30 minutes to 45 to an hour long uh, loops around this course, trying to be the first one out. So right now they're jumping over an obstacle there. You actually have to get off your bike and carry your bike at times. That's one of the big things. You're, you're doing a little bit of cross training. So you have to learn how to dismount quickly off your bike, which can be pretty treacherous. You have to learn how to pick up your bike, jump over an obstacle, and then be able to jump back on your bike. There are thousands of riders in the area, more than 30 teams competing in Chicago's Cyclocross Cup, which runs through December. That's right, as the weather begins to turn, their season is just getting started. I mean, when you're out in the mud and in the rain and in the snow in December and January, it's that much more exciting. And you're doing it with your friends, and, and you, you don't know your friends better than when you're suffering together. The energy of race day is a huge draw. They take place in parks across the Chicagoland area. Riders hit the track with hundreds of spectators cheering them on, even offering handouts. Robbie, here you go. People hand you money while you're racing. You're riding as fast as possible for anywhere from half an hour to an hour, depending on your category. So you're riding as fast as possible. You can't breathe, you're dying. You want to stop. At the same time, there's somebody handing you money. So the challenge is trying to get that money or that beer or whatever it is. But the, the items themselves are not the incentive. It's the crowd cheering. That's what you're going for. Next time you get a five, hey! This is really short, really high intensity, and really and, and done very quickly. So you go out, you race, you turn yourself inside out, and then you spend the rest of the day hooting and hollering and yelling at your friends and causing trouble. It's a, it's a really great way to spend a Sunday afternoon. It's really hard at first, um, but once you get used to it, once you practice, it's really easy, and for me, it's the most fun part of the sport. I don't know why, I just, I have a lot of energy, so like jumping off my bike and picking it up and then jumping back on it is just, I don't know, it's the most fun part of the race. Yeah! If you took a look at this today and decided that cyclocross might be for you, I've got more information up on my blog, uh, races in the area, and how you can join the Shy Cross Cup. It's all up at WGNTV.com slash On Cricket Hill in Montrose Harbor, Marcus Lashak, WGN News.